dare you? Uh, 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 how dare you sleep on duty? What do you even know how to do? Just to eat, sleep, and sit down here jobless. Eh? Let me catch you sleep, sleep like that in my compound again. Nonsense. You this wretched old man. You see, I wasn't sleeping, no. I was only meditating. I wasn't sleeping. Uh, uh, like I told you the day before yesterday, my wife in the village has been very ill for some time now. So I needed some money to, for her to buy some drugs. That is why I took me asking you for part payment. And just give me salary at that. So that was what was uh, occupying my mind. It wasn't as if I was sleeping. So, uh, Madam, please, I beg, please just have mercy on me. Please, I beg, please. Are you not talking? That is why you are shameless. You are a shameless old man. How many months have you been working? How many years have you been with me? Just two weeks. And you are demanding for part payment. You want half of your salary. Do I look dumb to you? No, take a look at me. Do I look dumb to you, Mr. Man? You're working for me. You've worked for me for just two weeks. And you're demanding for part payment of your salary. We're in Lagos and I am not dumb. We're in Lagos and I am not dumb. So you want me to give you part payment so you will run away with the money, right? You will not work for me. You will run away. Madam, it's not like that. Though. I'm not like that. Though. I, I, I swear, I'm not like that. Please. No, I see, I just tell you that that is what is occupying my mind. So it's not as if I'm trying to, to, to steal your money or not to turn away with your money. Hey, Jesus. When you were young, what did you use your life to do? <laughs> now you are poor till this age. No achievements, nothing. You've wasted all your life. It's not like that, oh, madam. It's okay. not like that. Three years ago, I was doing very well. It was a friend that advised me to to, to, to invest in this um, clearing and forwarding business. That was where I lost all my belongings. And from, from then, I've been in one, uh, one job, uh, moving from one job to another. So it's not as if uh, I've not, uh, not been doing well before. I don't care. I don't know. I don't want to know what you've been through or what you've went, what, what you've been through or what you went through. I don't care. I don't care. I don't want to care if your wife is dying or your wife is dying this minute. I don't care. I don't have any money to give to you, so just leave. Just have my see, I told you I don't want this man in my house. I told you I don't want this man to work for me. I want a younger person. But you suggested that old men or old women know how to do the job better. This man has been stressing me. What's happening? Why is he kneeling down? See, imagine, I, I, I saw him this afternoon. He was sleeping. He sat down and he was sleeping. What if thieves just come inside and pack up the valuable things in the house? Should I? Wait, don't tell me you, you poured water on him because he was sleeping. Yes, I did. I, I did that to wake him up. He was sleeping. I walked in and he was not. He didn't even wake up. I don't even know what mood he was in. For an old man like this to even accept to work, that means you should know there's something wrong somewhere. And I'm guessing you're the person that asked him to kneel down. Me? No! He just came in and he knelt down. He's begging for money. He wants me to give him money out of his salary. Someone that has barely worked for two weeks. At least, if he's asking for money, you should know what he wants the money for, right? He said his wife is dying in the village. Am I the one that told his wife to be sick? Did I did I cause this sickness for his wife?
What's going on? I heard you. He called him Papa. What's going on? I don't understand. See? See? Actually, this is my father. <laughs> he must be joking. Talk to me. What's that? Your father, this man, your father. Are you are you joking? Mm -hmm. No, actually. I'm not joking. This is my I told him I wanted to introduce a woman to him. And he asked me questions. He asked the name, the location, where you're based, where you work. I told him. But he was very sure that I was making a very big mistake. He told me there's no good woman in Lagos. But I never believed. I told him you were one of the best. I didn't know you were pretending to be nice. I'm confused. Like, this man is your father. I messed him. There's no need, okay? We, we have seen everything we wanted to see. He told me I should. Like, he never wanted me to embark on this journey. Because it's a lifetime journey. Imagine a man like this doing like do you know how many times he calls me a day you ask him to cook go to the market wash your clothes this man can be your father babe look i don't understand i'm confused I'm, this... I'm happy you listen to me i'm happy you listen to me anyways uh papa this is the girl i wanted to introduce to you ah. <laughs> hey pa 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 over, over the fence you heard him, so. Not this one. Uh, I'm not sorry. This one. I'm sorry. But at this point, it's not my fault. I tried my best. I will punish this place for you to see if you be different from others. A man like this is kneeling before you. What stops you from telling him to stand up? After telling you his wife is sick in the village. How, what is 5,000 there? How much do you make your nails on a, uh, uh, on a weekly basis? Your eyelash, how much do you go? Do you pay for that? 5,000 uh, uh, Just wait for me. Okay. I'll join you. Okay. Just wait for me. Your clothes are in the boat, okay? Yes. Fine. Now, Between me and you, you need to work on yourself. You really need to work on yourself. Never judge a book by its color. No matter how small, how poor they are. Remember when I first met you? You were, you were a sales girl. And I picked you up. I, I, I gave you the best life you're having now. Mind you, this place is expiring in a few months now. You know, you start paying rent. I'm leaving everything for you. Be safe. God will give you a man of your choice that will tolerate you. But I guess that man is not good.